Here's an instructional video on how to change your own power chain if it's broken. Please give me a call before you do this. I will be on hand to help you. So first of all, if we need to get the old power chain off first off, first up, we need something like uh, a sewing needle. We want something that's bigger than a pin. It needs to be fairly robust. Um, you need to have a relatively sharp point on it, not, not necessarily too sharp, you can blunt in the end of it, um, but something that's reasonably uh, firm. Now you come from the gum towards the tip of the tooth, so if you slip, you're not going to hit anything. So you come in, you push down firmly, get underneath that bit of elastic there and lift. So using the lever action to lift the elastic over the four points of the, the, the bracket. Now it will sit, so when you take off the first two, it will sit up there um, while we're doing the rest of the removal of the power chain. So we go to the next tooth, lift it off, and lift it off again. And eventually you'll just have the power chain going all the way right to left, just connected onto these hooks on the back teeth. So there, it might be easier at home to get something like nail scissors and just go through there and just snip that with the tip of the nail scissors. Or if you're game, you can go backwards, but I would suggest probably just cutting through, maybe even just coming back here is a nice and easy spot to cut with your nail scissors, and then the last bits will then just fall off. So now we have a mouth uh, with no power chain. So before, you, before you've you're taken the power chain off, you've made sure that you've got some more power chain at home. Um, you've counted the number of links so the links equal the number of teeth you're going to put on uh, the, the new power chain. Getting it on the mouth, we use a piece of floss, like so. We feed the floss through the last link. Like so. And now we have something to grip onto the, the back of the power chain. Hold the, the power chain like so. Now we're going to find that hook, hook right at the back of the mouth. It's a fair way back. I don't have a cheek over the mouth here, but there's a cheek in the way. You'll have to persevere to find that hook like so. There is, there's often a lot of cheek in there. It will take you time, but Australians have lots of time at the moment. Um, so persevere and you'll get it over that last hook. Uh, you might use tweezers that might help out just to try and guide that last link, that last link over the top of that hook. Um, just an, something, something that can extend to the back of the mouth will help. So to then put the rest of the power chain on, you pull forward and use your fingers to help guide those little circles. You can see the circle there around the four corners of each tooth. And realistically, as long as you get it at around at least three, that will be enough. But it, you know, we're, got, we're aiming for the four corners. I'm trying not to break the bracket off my model. The glue onto a model is not as good on a, as on a real tooth. Okay, so you, I'll do that again for the next one while I'm talking you through it. So we get the, the little circle over the top of the first corner, then over the second corner, and we pull that down so it stretches over the third and fourth. And we do it again. Pull our power chain. One, two, three and four. Brilliant. Right, I'm not going to show you the rest of the way. Um, you just keep doing the same, same technique for each tooth. When we get to the other side, hopefully this power chain is going to stretch, maybe it won't. Um, we need to find that hook again. So you're using your finger um, to help guide that last link over the top of that hook. So like so. So you've now got yeah, so you'll need your fingers. Remember there's cheeks in the way, you need to push that in there. And once again, it will take a few goes to try and just slide that hook over, so the, the power chain will circle over that little hook. You now have the power chain linked like so to every single one of these teeth. Once you've completed that, that power chain change, can you please take several photos? So one photo like so, well that's gonna be like that in the mouth. So one photo like so, one photo of the front teeth, one photo of those, that side of the mouth, and send that to me to confirm that you've completed the power change change um, uh, as uh, correctly. Thank you, and if you've done that, well done. Keep safe.